let's talk about this Kansas City and Los Angeles Chargers game. A phenomenal divisional game out in the AFC West. You have the Los Angeles Chargers going on the road, winning that game by the score of 30-24. to 24. Justin Herbert was sensational in this game, threw four touchdowns against Kansas City. And then to kind of kick it over to Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes had some issues today. And he had another kind of turnover happy performance, had some touchdowns, but he did have two interceptions. And Kansas City also had four turnovers in this game compared to the Chargers who didn't turn the ball over whatsoever. So, Kev, just let me get your thoughts about this surprising win for the Chargers over the Chiefs. Well, I mean, honestly, we, we've seen spurts of Justin Herbert have performances where you just say, wow, there's no way he's only been in the league two seasons. Obviously, we know that the dynamic duo between Mike Williams and Keenan Allen has shown and proven to be very effective. You have the skilled route running and efficiency that is Keenan Allen. Then you have the big body go up and get it receiver that is Mike Williams. You have a good tandem in the backfield with Austin Eckler and Justin Jackson. So they seem like a very well-rounded offense. And when Justin Herbert is able to put the ball in place where he was today going for four touchdowns, obviously, I mean, it's really hard to say how, you know, or should I say, it's hard to say what the ceiling could be for the Chargers. It's just like last week where they lost to the Cowboys to that uh, game-winning field goal. You do look back and say, like, was Justin playing at a full at his full potential? You know what I mean? Like, he has those games where you kind of look at him like, ah, like, I see why he's still considered to be, like, a little bit on the inexperienced side or someone that's still learning the game. But then he goes and carves up the defending AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs the way that he did. And on the Chiefs side, I mean, like Kyle said, we're talking about four turnovers. It's four to zero. That's literally all it is. It's a, it's a turnover battle. It was a six-point game. If Kansas City turns the ball over half the time, uh, m- maybe they win this game. But the point is, in the last couple of weeks, they've turned the ball over several times, and that has cost them two key victories. So – I would say definitely not panic mode. You can clean this up. These are fixable mistakes. Edward Solaire has two fumbles in the last two weeks. Um, could be a little bit of a mental thing. Could we see a little bit more from Darrell Williams running the ball more? Maybe. But uh, I think Edward Solaire will get this together. But it's funny how Kyle and I were actually talking about this uh, before the episode. Prior to last week, Pat Mahomes had no interceptions in September. He had no losses in September. Now he's got two losses and he's got four interceptions in the month of September within the last two weeks alone. So I don't necessarily know what is going on with Kansas City to be in the predicament that they're in, but they'll find a way to get it together. They still have Patrick Mahomes, who is probably the best player in football and obviously the best quarterback in the NFL. So I feel like they'll be able to turn it around. You know, prayers up to Andy Reid, who did leave uh, the game and was, you know, hospitalized due to precautionary uh, measures. But they say that he's doing okay. So we will see what happens on that front. But overall, the Chiefs definitely cannot sit here and look at this division as easy as it used to be over the last few years. Denver's 3-0, and the Raiders are 3-0, and and now the Chargers are now 2-1. and If the Chiefs don't get it together, this division might get away from them quickly. The AFC West is no longer an easy scapegoat to uh, kind of run through. Yeah, I, when I look back at this game, just the one stat that really pops out to me are the turnovers. And in the lead-up, to this game, I mentioned that I thought that Justin Herbert was going to be the one that was going to be turning the ball over against Kansas City's defense. It actually turned out to be that Patrick Mahomes was the one making some costly turnovers and the Kansas City Chiefs as well. So you add the two interceptions that he had in this game, plus the two fumbles that they had. I mean, four turnovers. I mean, I don't care if it's Kansas City or if it's the worst team in the league. I mean, you're putting yourself at a huge hole You're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage when you're giving the Chargers just ample opportunities to score. And that's really kind of the main takeaway from this game is that when the Chargers got those turnovers, they were able to turn it into points. And just once again, the the Chiefs just have these really late and inopportune turnovers that really cost them. Last week, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire fumbled the ball with only a minute to go against the Ravens. And then they had another situation where they turned the ball over late in the game once again, and it cost them the game. I mean, Kansas City marching down the field at the end of the game. You know, the Chargers tied it up at 24 apiece with like 2 two fifteen left in the game. Kansas City gets the ball, and they just find a way to just let 
it squander away from them. And the Chargers marched right down the field. And Justin was able to hit Mike Williams on a four-yard pass to put him up 30-24. to 24, And that was all she wrote. So when I look at the Chiefs, I still think by and large, they're one of the best teams, not only in the AFC, but in the NFL. But they have got to clean up these turnover issues. Because, I mean, after week three, who would have thought that they would have been one and two and at the bottom of the AFC West? I sure as hell didn't expect it. I know you didn't expect it. But turnovers and this defense are some of the main issues that are leading to the results of what they are. And that's the A- the AFC West is dominated by, I mean, the Broncos are 3-0, the Raiders are 3-0, the Chargers are 2-1, and, and then the surprising fact of Kansas City being 1-2 and two at the bottom, it just stuns me. And I got to give the Chargers credit. They were able to play up to snuff today. They played a relatively clean game. And when the Chiefs turned it over, they were able to capitalize on that and they punished Kansas City for it. So this was a huge win for them. I wasn't expecting it. I thought Casey would just kind of roll through this game pretty handily after taking that tough one-point loss against Baltimore last week. But the Chargers earned it today. And it's a well-deserved win in my book. 